Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. This is my weekly video blog called Bullheaded, a review of the Houston Texans news, as well as a preview of the upcoming game matchups. So, this week, the Texans are going to be going on the road to take on the high-powered Miami Dolphins, but they're going to have a slight change um, in their lineup uh, this week, um, as Davis Mills has been benched uh, as of right now in place of Cal Kyle Allen. Um, for the starting quarterback position. So um, I'm going to get into all that in a few. Uh, first, let me just do a quick uh, Week 11 recap. So, I mean, just to start off, um, how they played kind of foreshadowed uh, what was going to happen uh, this week. Um, hell, he, Davis Mills threw a pick six on his first pass of the game. So right off the bat, you can already hear the groans in the stadium or booze or whatever, probably just the groans all across the uh, the city of Houston as well as any Texans fan that exists in the world. So um, it's just, you can kind of tell, all right, you know, this, this ain't going to, this ain't going to end well. And it's probably going to have some more things that are not end well um, outside of this game. Um, you know, the offense only had one good drive, like the whole game. And that, I'm not even talking about the touchdown that they had late in the game. I'm talking about that one drive. They came out of the, they can't. They started the third quarter off with, um, you know, just one drive where they looked active, engaged, and everything else, and you know, pretty much, you know, what I'm saying didn't play sloppy, but <sighs> it only it only generated three points, you know. So um, it was it was gruesome to watch, man. To be honest with you, and. And whether you believe the Texans are tank were tanking or not tanking, it was just it was just a bad game to watch. I mean, even Pierce, who's been like Damian Pierce has been like the highlight of this particular season, um, he got shut down. You know, he only had like ten carries for eight yards. So uh it was it was just bad, man. So uh but even with that, um, going back to my point about the foreshadowing, you know, post game, everybody was just freaking out. And figuring out who to blame, <laughs> you know, do you blame uh, Pep Hamilton for running this offense? Blame Levy Smith um, for how he's managed his team so far, or do you blame Davis Mills and his poor performance? You know, I mean, if we're talking about players, I don't think it should really stop at Mills. You know, I think you know uh, Brandon Cooks might have to take some blame in this. You know, he hasn't you know performed as well. He did all right, but you know, saying amidst all this damn. Uh, trade rumor drama or whatever, you know, he hasn't, you know what I'm saying, been himself. He's just starting to get back in sync a little bit, you know. Um, and that's not to, you know what I'm saying, take shots at him or anything. It's just, it's been bad. Hell, I've seen Tunsil uh, make some bad plays, you know, these last couple games. Kenyon Green, um, you know what I'm saying, he's a rookie, but, you know, he's made some, you know, crucial mistakes in a couple games as well. So, you know what I'm saying, it's enough blame for everybody <laughs> to kind of just – go around and take it. And that's pretty much what we can do in this particular game um, against the commanders. You know what I'm saying? Just pretty much give everybody the blame. It was just a poor effort all around the board. So with that being said, uh, so now we're looking at Davis Mills. Where is my, all right, there we go. Uh, so now I lost my spot. So anyway, um, big news of the week, uh, Davis Mills, he's been benched. And it's one of those things that a lot of people can tell you that it's probably just been a long time coming. You know, Davis Mills, second year quarterback, he's had he's had a rough run uh, for his, uh, you know, he's had a rough run, you know, throughout his tenure as a starting quarterback. Um, you know, he started last, he, his first start last season was shut out. Um, you know what I'm saying, got beat severely um, by the Buffalo Bills in, you know, inclement weather and all that. And, you know what I'm saying, he did struggle, you know, for a couple games until uh, Tyrod Taylor came back. And so when they decided to sit Tyrod Taylor down, you know what I'm saying, Mills looked pretty good. Even got a win over the Chargers uh, last season. So uh, this year, you know, his strong performance um, last year um, led everybody to be excited about him coming into this season, you know, and unfortunately things just did not work out. Um, so really it's, it's, it's just probably been like a matter of time, um, 
before he was, you know what I'm saying, before he was actually, like, benched. And so, really, um, excuse me, mix my points up. <laughs> but, no, I do want to start off with the uh, matter of time point. Because, um, you know, we had high hopes for him, uh, you know, going into preseason. And, my gra- and even then, in preseason, I was kind of like, you know, the way that we're playing them in preseason, I was like, okay, what is this? I could think he only had like one series, and I'm like, y'all have hyped this guy up way too much uh, to just give him one series of football. Um, you know, y'all, <laughs> I want to see, I want to see more of them, and I didn't really get to see that, and, and we didn't really get to see that until like maybe the third game or so. You know what I'm saying? He played like you know a whole quarter or half or whatever, and so. It just kind of like, you know, boggled. And when they did play them, each time they did play them, it seemed like they started off real um, conservative with them. And I get it. They're, they were probably pretty high on Pierce at the time, uh, just being blown away by what he was doing in practice and seeing that translate into the field. Um, but, I mean, Pierce is a rookie that just came in, you know, that, you know what I'm saying, he really hasn't proven anything yet. And so, as opposed to, like, Davis Mills, I mean, yeah, Mills hasn't you know, proven or blown away anybody yet, but, um, he's made, he's done enough to, you know, let you get intrigued about what he can do, especially being that he's at the most important part of the, he's at the most important position, um, on this football team, uh, you know what I'm saying, which is quarterback. So for him to not deliver on that starting, it seemed like what started in a preseason, you know, that should have kind of been a sign that, you know, he might not, you know what I'm saying? He might not make it through the season as far as, like, being a starter. But, you know, that's preseason. You know, when thing, when it came down to the regular season, you know what I'm saying? It's just different things such as, like, uh, throwing the interceptions late in games, um, actually having garbage um, time, more garbage time yards than actual, um, you know what I'm saying, game yards. And so, yeah, you can put that on Mills. Some of that you can probably put on Hamilton as well. But, it also kind of goes back to the, um, I remember the one clip, uh, I guess, I don't think it was a clip. It was actually, a, it was a comment um, that one of the analysts had made during the game, just talking about how um, Pep Hamilton, you know, saying that, you know, Mills just needed more time, you know. And this was a guy that played like, what, 14 games? The stat they throw around is he played 14 games in three years. Um, it just, to, to me, it just didn't seem like, the coaches wanted him. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they're not going to come. And, you know, they had all that, all the, all these players um, just during the preseason, just publicly, like, bolster him up and all this other stuff. But, I mean, that's during the preseason. That's offseason, OTAs. Everybody's a superstar in that. Uh, when it comes down to the regular season, actually putting that into work, putting that against actual competition, and you don't live up to that, then, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all going to kind of crash, come crashing down on you for that. So, um, yeah, pretty much, man, all of that is just, it was probably just a matter of time as things kept getting worse for him as he kept playing, like, not great. Um, you know what I'm saying? It was just a build up to, you know, what they were actually um, going to really do with him. Um, this also, um, this benching also solidifies the tanking intentions. So, if you haven't wondered if the Texans are tanking, they are definitely tanking. So, my homeboy, I probably told y'all last week, the Texans are tanking harder than No Limit Soldiers in 1998. So, they are definitely, um, they're definitely trying to secure that number one draft pick uh, right now. And I was just telling my pops about this earlier, you know, uh, today, I think um, this will be like the fourth number one draft pick you know what I'm saying, in the team's history, and so I don't think that's a significant number, like, you know, it's it's a young franchise, whatever, um, and it's probably other teams that had probably way more number one picks in the road. I think Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns had probably a back-to-back uh, number one pick in, a win, in a, one of those seasons, so, um, but it just, this just kind of solidifies, you know, the intentions to tank and just keep that um, number one overall pick. And, you know, they need it. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people had to crit- had criticisms about quarter about the quarterbacks um, last season, um, or about the quarterback class that came in uh, that was drafted uh, this year. Um, and I haven't heard too much of those same, you know, what I'm saying criticisms uh, about this upcoming uh, 2023 uh, quarterback rookie class. So um, right now it seems to be Stroud. Uh, yeah, C.J. Stroud of Ohio State, uh, Bryce Young of Alabama, uh, Drake Mays could be a name um, that's thrown around there. Drake Mays from Carolina, um, and you know what I'm saying? Just I think Will Levis, Levis. Uh, forgive me if I messed that up. I get it right by draft time, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just some names that's been like thrown around. Whether it's for Heisman talk, whether it's for them uh, going, whether it's for them going in the first round. Um, in this upcoming draft. So, you know what I'm saying? It seems like the Texans, you know, they have their baby to choose from. Now, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, one of those guys that's like, oh, you don't want to take so-and-so at the first round. Uh, you want to wait till they, you know, drop the yada, yada, yada. Because, first of all, I'm not that much of a draft expert. And even the draft experts, they get that they get that mess completely wrong. They flub it <laughs> at times. So, um, especially with the first round, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, first round is supposed to be cream of the crop, and you know what I'm saying? Some of these dudes be out of the league in a couple years. So, um, but yeah, I definitely think the Texans are definitely taking a quarterback. And that's kind of what, to me, that's what this benching kind of represents. It's like, all right, we've seen enough of Davis Mills. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in Kyle Allen. And likely Kyle Allen, they're probably going to see whether they're probably going to see whether or not he's actually um, they're probably going to see whether or not he can uh, remain as a backup uh, for this team. That's just my guess. I don't know any of those. I don't know anybody at the Texans organization. Um, at least I don't think so. So anyway, um, if I do, hit me up on LinkedIn. But anyway, that's neither the point. Um, yeah, I just think they're probably going to see if he can, you know what I'm saying, remain the backup. Um, you know, he's hasn't, he, he is not likely he's going to wow, um, the team and just, they're going to be like, oh, let's build around him. That's highly unlikely, but if it does, great for him, but it's not going to happen. They're probably just going to see like, you know, if he's the backup and pretty much what we got, um, what we got left. So, uh, so yeah, so right now. Kyle Allen is the starter, um, and we don't know for how long, you know, Davis Mills probably could come back, um, you know, when we're out of the playoffs and they just want to see, like, all right, have you learned anything? Have you tightened up on anything? So, um, but yeah, that's all I got for that about him being benched. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got for him for being benched. Now, moving on uh, to this Sunday's game and Usually I'm in here talking about this is what the Texans got to do to, you know, win and be. And I'm gonna just keep it real with you. This is this Davis Mills getting benched is way bigger than it. It doesn't. It sounds crazy saying that that you know this is him getting benched is way bigger than whatever uh, is supposed to be going on in this game. But I mean, let's keep it honest. If they if Texans have been playing like crap, if they play the way they play. They've been playing like the way they've been playing against the Commanders lately against other teams. Then, you know what I'm saying, them about to face Miami, who's like up there at the top of the AFC East, um, it's, it's not going to it's not gonna be pretty. So um, with, a, with the new quarterback um, placed in uh, with, and the regular quarterback being benched, I can imagine that this team is kind of on some um, – it's, it's probably it's, – probably caused quite a distraction and just people wrapping their minds around it, especially, especially with Thanksgiving, <laughs> especially announcing this the day before Thanksgiving. So in addition to going through this, they probably have to, you know, worry about, you know, whatever they got going on at home as far as like getting meals and getting family in and all this other stuff. So, um, but while I don't have any real game strategy for the Texans this week, cause Miami is just that good. Two has been playing great since he came back um, from that uh, that crucial injury, um, and why wouldn't he? He has Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle um, on the side. So uh, I think um, I forgot who the running back was. I'm not even gonna say the running back's name because 
whoever in the words of my homeboy Ugo, just start whoever that's running back for the Dolphins when it <laughs> comes to fantasy football. So, uh, but yeah, um, when you got Tyreek Hill on anything and you have a young secondary like we do, it's going to be some problems. So, um, with that being said, a um, couple things the Texans just need to do this weekend. This is all I want to see from the Texans. Overall, number one, overall the team should play with the utmost urgency. That benching, uh, Davis Mills getting benched should send a message to that whole team. Like, look, if you ain't going to perform correctly, you ain't going to perform up to the standards that we set for you, then you need to go. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know what I'm saying? You lost your job. Uh, as simple as that. Um, you know what I'm saying? You just go sit right over there along with them until you're ready to, like, <clears throat> excuse me, perform at a high level. And so, with that being said, um, you know, the team should be, like, fired up. You know what I'm saying? That shit. See, like, all right, he got benched because da 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 da. I need to make sure I go out there, you know what I'm saying, handle my business and do what I got to do to make sure it's at the, you know what I'm saying, best of my abilities. Uh, second thing the Texans need to do is I need to see changes with Kyle Allen under center. Um, so, for this kind of ties back to the, um, you know, playing with the utmost urgency. Like, I need to see more aggression from the offense. You know what I'm saying? Like, Running the ball is cool, but you know what I'm saying? Let's let's take a little bit more shots downfield. And, you know, Kyle's Kyle Allen's, you know, numbers career wise, they they're kinda spotty, but you know, what what do we have to lose at this point? I mean, if we lose, we we kinda win because we we one step closer to that number one pick. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Just more aggression from the offense. Let's attack the air more. And, you know, Brandon besides Brandon Cooks um, he seems like he's gotten past that whole trade, um, deadline ordeal. So he seems to be playing a little bit better. Let's just try to find him a little bit more. Let's get Nico Collins involved, um, a little bit more. Should he, uh, be healthy? Um, another thing that I need to see, uh, with Kyle Allen under center is better protection. Um, that was, that was one of the things that, you know, we can, look, we can blame Davis Mills all he want, but that's one of the things that, you know, you got to take off of him, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, him not having uh, a good protection, a, um, a good O-line at times. Um, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got Green over there, but it's not just Green, you know, as a rookie, you know what I'm saying? He's a rookie. He's learning. But some of these veterans, you know what I'm saying, they've been making, you know what I'm saying, they've just been making mistakes at the worst possible time. So, um, you know, not just with penalties, but, you know what I'm saying, just giving up sacks, not calling out, not picking up blitzes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, let's just really um get. Ah, <coughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm racing through this. So um, you know what I'm saying? Let's just really uh, yeah, let's just really um get some better protection uh for him, so we can actually see, we can actually evaluate like what and who or what Kyle Allen um uh, is as a uh, passer. So, um, that's just it I got for y'all this week, man. I know it's Thanksgiving, y'all. I hope y'all have ate good. Um, I hope y'all are still eating good. Um, if you're in these stores on Black Friday, you are still crazy. Um, but as long as you watch my video, watch my video right now, it's, I guess it's okay. So, <laughs> anyway, I am Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. Holla Black. <laughs>